All right, here we go. This one is going to be a versus test. We have the 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 357 SIG. The round we're going to be testing out today is the Winchester Ranger T-Series. So we have the 9mm. That one is 147 grain. We have the 40 Smith & Wesson. That is 180 grain. And our 357 SIG. That one is a 125 grain. And we're going to be going in the gel today. So we do have our four layers of cotton t-shirt on that. It is a 10% block. And we do have jugs just in case we get some pass-throughs on these. So what we'll do is we'll set up the chronograph right in front of this gel. So hopefully we get an impact velocity. And we'll see what these things can do. Here we go. Versus test. All right, here we go. We are stepping back to 15 feet. First one up is 9 millimeter. Let's see how we did. All right, so we are leaking, so we definitely got to pass through. And our impact velocity on that one was 922. We are using that short barrel, so that's pretty much expected. And we have our four layers of cotton t-shirts. Uh, probably won't be able to tell which one is impact because there's quite a few holes on that, but let's check this out. So, we do have our impact looks like a pretty good star pattern looking really good so far and check out that wound cavity not too bad at all you can definitely see those uh, spiral cuts in there you can see it twisting really good right there but uh, not as big a uh, of a wound that we get on those a uh, little bit spicier rounds, but not too bad still. So what we'll do is we'll get the ruler, so we definitely pass through. And we're just going to check the widest point right here. So, from bottom to top is about an inch and a quarter. So not too bad, and it looks like it basically carried all the way out. You can see those nice spiral cuts. So let's see how many jugs we made it through. It looks like the second one is leaking. And it actually sounds like it's rolling around in that second jug. So we went all the way through the block and to the second jug on this one. So not too bad. What I will start doing too, uh, when I get back to the house, I'll do cross sections. So I'll cut it at its widest point so you guys can get a look at that. But there we go, there was that nine millimeter. All right, so I just wanted to show from the top. Looks like, uh, Pretty good wound cavity right there though. Not too bad at all. And this gel is coming out really nice. I will do a tutorial on how I'm actually making this stuff too. There we go, 147 grain, nine mil. So what we'll do is we'll spin the block around so we get a kind of the same view. And next up will be the 40. All right, here we go. Set back to 15 feet. This one is the 40. All right, let's see how that one did. Looks like our impact velocity on that one was 996. So even faster than that 147. So that's putting some uh, pretty good uh, energy into that thing. So we do have our cotton t-shirt. Looks like we hit about right there. Yeah, so entry on that one. Looks like a pretty good size exit. So let's check this thing out. Looks like you put a hurting on this block. 
<laughs> and we are leaking again, so let's see. All right, so it looks like we went through one jug and the round is sitting there on the ground. Not on the ground, sorry, I'm here on the table. So check out that entry hole. Nice star pattern. You can see the spiral cuts in that thing. Doing really good so far. And here is our side view. That's a massive energy dump on that one. And once again, it looked like it carried all the way through. Looking really good. So we will measure this one at its widest points. So let's see. That one is just under two inches, right at about two inches. So definitely a lot more energy coming through on that one. Check out that permanent wound cavity. I think it's nasty. And that's probably uh, the most consistent Ranger T that I've tested is the 180 grain. Even out of the short barrel, it always does really good. So, so what we're going to do is uh, set up, do the 357 SIG, and then we'll show all the rounds here at the end. Check that out. Oh, it actually looks like we have a little bit of fragmentation right there. Looks like there's two petals that actually came off there in this gel. So, all right, here we go. 357 SIG. All right, I just had to show you guys a different angle of this wound cavity. I put it up on its side, and you can see how big that thing is. So this next one's going to be a little bit trickier. Um, it's kind of hard to tell in the middle if I was just to have it laid down, so this one's actually going to be standing up. And we're going to try to put that 357 SIG right here in the center. So hopefully we're able to catch this around. Um, what will probably happen is the block will end up falling or, you know, laying down flat. So here we go. All right, here we go. This one's going to be 357 SIG. We are stepping back to 15 feet. All right, there we go. It looks like we were able to get that one. So let's see, our impact velocity was 1,320 feet per second. So that's not too bad out of that short barrel. Cotton t-shirt did blow back. And let's check this thing out. It looks like we are leaking again, so we definitely passed through. So let's see. All right, so let's check the entry on this one. Once again, another nice star pattern. So it looks like we are definitely getting some expansion. And it looks like that one started expanding about half inch in, and check out that wound cavity. That one's definitely wider than all the rest of them. We got some major disruption here, and it carried pretty far, pretty far. Let's see. Looks like it carried about eight inches but check that out we do definitely looks like we have a round there in that first jug but check that out let's see how it did on widest points on this one so this one looks about just over two and a quarter so bottom one was uh, nine millimeter that one was at i believe one and a quarter then we got the top one which was the 40 that was about two and a quarter and then this one, about two and three quarters. So you can definitely tell the difference on uh, energy. But that's looking really, really good. So I'm actually going to put it right here on top so you guys can get a better idea of how those are looking. But look at that 357 SIG. That is major energy dump right there. As soon as it came in, and the 40 is this one right here on the right. So you can definitely tell a difference. Let's remeasure it from this top angle. Because that is quite a bit. Yeah, this side doesn't look as big. We're just under two and a half on that one. But uh, like I said, what I will do is I'll cut them right where their widest point is. Um, here when I get back to the house. 
just a little bit of a cross section so you guys can get an idea on how much damage they're actually doing. So it looks like that one made it to one jug. The nine millimeter made it to the second jug and the 40 also made it through the first jug. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull all these rounds and see what they look like. All right, check these things out. Looks like they did really good. So the first one is the nine. Um, we laid them in the order that we shot them. Second one is the 40. And the third one is the 357 SIG. So we got perfect expansion on every single one of those this time. Uh, the 40 actually did shed two of its pedals. And uh, as you can see right there in the block, there's the two pedals that came off. So we were able to catch them, but they did come off. But there is a nine mil. And I will get our still shots like always at the end so you guys can get a better look at those. But picture perfect expansion on those. Perfect uniform. And that is out of the short barrel, so that's pretty impressive. Doing really, really good. So there's our 9. We have our 40. Same thing. Those pedals peeled really far back on that one. Let's see if we can get out of the sun. There we go. But perfect uniform expansion. Got those razor sharp talons sticking out. But that one you can see right there. Did lose those two pedals. But not too bad. And our 357 SIG. Looks like that one did really, really good. Picture perfect. A uniform expansion on that one also. Peel those pedals really far back. But those are looking really, really good. We got some uh, decent velocities. The lowest one was the 9. That is only a 3 inch barrel. These other ones are 3.42 inch. So expect it on that. But once again, super razor sharp. So that was definitely a fun one. If you guys are liking these, go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up button. Subscribe. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Or if you guys have any ideas of what you want me to test or stuff that I've tested in the past or anything like that. But there we go. 9 verse 40 verse 357 SIG in the gel. All right, and here was our 9 millimeter cross section on that. Same thing, splitting really, really good in that gel. Big old spiral pattern. Not too bad, though. And here's the splits on this one. Really, really good. Nice wide cavity. I think this one was one and three quarters. But nice deep cuts in this one, too. Check those ones out. But not too bad. That was nine millimeter. This is the cross section from that uh, 40 Smith and Wesson. It's that Ranger T. Split it open really, really good. Huge star pattern. I'll cut it one more time so you can kind of see the path. But looking pretty good. All right, there's one more split. So it's cutting deep down in there. Just hanging on. But same with all these. You can see how deep it's actually cutting in into that gel. But that was the 40. That Ranger T. But there we go. All right, and here's that section for the 357 SIG. That one cut pretty deep. Pretty nasty cuts in that gel right there. I know I don't have the best lighting, but not too bad. So I'll split it one more time. All right, this way you can really tell how wide and how deep those cuts are in that gel. But I think this one was two and a half inches, two and three quarters. It was pretty big. Same up here. Just cutting in. Tearing that stuff up. Look at those cuts in this one. Way down in there. There we go. That was 357 SIG.